Hey, you know, guys, we drummers pride ourselves in being fast learners. In fact, a lot of times uh, guitar players, singers, keyboard players will say, yeah, but it's pretty easy to play the drums because they have to worry about chords and scales and all that stuff, and all we gotta do is play the beat. But it's not that simple. We have four limbs, we got all that kind of stuff, and sometimes we have to learn things like this. And it's like, hey, that's a whole lot of stuff happening in a very short period of time. Today on the drum department, we're gonna find out how quickly we can learn a lick we've never heard before. We get 60 seconds to listen to the lick, and then we gotta try and play it. And we're gonna see which one of the four of us geniuses does the best. And then you guys get to vote on that too. That all happens on the drum department, which starts right now! Welcome everybody to this week's episode of the drum department. Uh, today we've got the A team here for sure, the A plus team. You got Jared, you got Dave, you got Brandon, so and you got me. If, so if we're the A team, then who's Mr. T? Mr. T. T well, is Mr. It'll T. Probably be me. <laughs> My last name is starts oh, with T. Oh, look at that! He's on the T team then. I guess <laughs> we'll give you that, Brandon. I like that. Just saying. Yeah. Yeah. Right. So we got sixty <laughs> seconds only to learn these sixty links? precious seconds. Yeah. So the the whole idea came out of. Drummers being fast learners, right? I think we all take pride in being pretty quick at picking up stuff, right? Okay. Mm -hmm. no? Yes. I don't think a lot of drummers read notation, or at least get handed notation to learn. That's yeah. true. And I, I would also say that no matter how good your reading is, we all quickly realize how strong we have to get in using our ears, because that's really the thing that's telling you the truth in the moment, right? All right. Mm -hmm. Chart is great, but if something deviates from the chart, you got to use your, your brain, your ears, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, so how this is gonna work is uh, we're each gonna get a chance to take a spin at this. Uh, of course, we're gonna sequester the others so they can't hear the, the lick or what the other person's doing with it, or however good or bad they do or crash and burn, we'll see. Mm. But we're gonna do a poll at the end to see who did the best version of this fill, and we're gonna get a chance to see who actually played this fill. I don't actually even know who it is, so we'll see if we A, played it right, B, if we even got how they played it, mm. right? So, so at what get... point do I go to the soundproof room with Dave? Very oh, soon. Don't send me. To the <laughs> very, very soon. No. Oh boy. No one can hear. No one can hear. No I know that's what hear. I'm worried about. Dave screaming for help. Yeah. So Kyle, do we yeah. get any hints on this? Like, is it from a song? Is it from a solo? Is it from what I understand? Aaron pulled something from Drumio. Okay. So. Okay. One of you may have an advantage. You may have produced this video. I have no idea. <laughs> and he was kind enough to give us a lead-in of a groove, and there's a click striped against it so we can hear at least what's going on. Okay. We have a, a bit of a reference point. And so. we just have to play the, the lick. That's right. Okay. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And you have a minute. We'll, oh we'll have a clock on there, so you have a minute to learn it, and then you can play it. If you want to play it while, that's whatever your process is. We have pencil and paper. Dave said that that wasn't possible in a minute, so... Sure. I don't know. I don't think you guys have written any notes down within one minute. Probably not, but think? just in case. Dave, you must be the uneducated one here. Uh. I got finale open on my computer, guys. <laughs> I'm doing full finale it. I'm going to notate it for you in, uh. in the 60 seconds. Well, that's pretty yeah. clever. That's not a bad idea. That's pretty good. I don't know if it's a great idea. But, uh, I don't think it's a great idea. I don't know. Uh, but yeah, so uh, this this should be really fun. Uh, are you guys you guys ready to do this? Yes. Okay, yeah, so I'm really going to... Be the guinea pig here. I'm going to go first. Brandon's going to go second because apparently you have somewhere to be today. So, which is fine. But I still want to be here. Yeah. So Brandon's yeah. going to go second, and uh, then he's got some something happening later. So uh, we'll have to. Uh, Into the silent room with. Uh, yeah, we'll have to. Uh, we'll, ha <laughs> we'll have to uh, speak on Brandon's behalf seconds. at that point. Oh, no. uh, so we have our super secret assistant, Breaker Breaker One Nine. This is Fat Boy. Is that little boy over there? Like it, man. On his way. So he's going to take you guys out of the room, and I'm going to get a chance to oh, wow. take this for a spin. Come on, boys. All right. Come on. <sighs> on that note, to the silent room. That's right. right. And you I'll might think, you know, YouTube this is a bit of a circus kind of trick, so but it's not really, because there are times we have to learn things really quickly. So I'm going to put my laptop, actually, I'm going to put my laptop on the ground for this. All right. So here we go. It's just you and me, everybody. <laughs> All right. So. If you guys can bring up the clock, I'm gonna go ahead and count down. And the nice thing is we can hear the lick as many times as we want in that minute, but uh, we're gonna have to uh, do our best with that time frame. So, uh, we good with the clock? I can't see it, so I'm not sure if we have it or not. 
I can only imagine so. <laughs> yes, we do. Thank you so much. All right, counting you down. Here we go. Three, two, one, and go. Okay, that was a minute. So it's got this sort of a vibe to it. I can sing it. Two, three, four. 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 I think that's right. But now I gotta figure out what it actually is. And he's kind of doing a hi hat thing. So I can get like the first part of it, and then it's like trying to remember that last half of it. I think that's right. One more time. say I'm at about a solid six. <laughs> I got the idea, not quite, a little cloudy in the middle there, but if I had to like play that lick in context right now today, after learning it for like a minute and then playing it a couple of times, I could get through it, it would be similar to that idea, but we'll have to see what the other guys do. I'm gonna play one last time and then uh, we'll bring in the next victim, which will be Brandon. So uh, here we go. One, two, three. Something like that. I think that's it. All right. Breaker, breaker, can we get Brandon in here next, please? On his way. Awesome. All right, so now we get the guy who has probably the most studious job here at Drumeo. He's constantly learning material for the videos he shoots. He's charting things. He's transcribing things. He's always learning. So I would imagine... Brandon's probably going to get this pretty close, pretty quick, but you never know. I, I don't know. I got to say, like, it's not easy to just kind of lift that lick and play it. And that's, you know, it's, a, it's got a lot of notes in it. So Brandon's on his way in. How far did they take him away? My goodness. He must have been locked up. This is crazy. But anyways, I think it's, it's, it's a really good practice to try things like this. I mean, sometimes you have to learn things really quickly, right? So... Hey, Brandon. They, they like took us to prison. I, I, I was going to say, I think you may have taken you to the gulag. Well, so I'm just going to unplug here. To get here. And you are up, sir. I'm just going to reload this for you. All right. So Did that you get top it? button. I, I, I'm going to give myself a 60%. Oh, 60%. there you go. 60%. Yep. Now I'm nervous. <laughs> you're good at picking this stuff up. Uh, I don't know. Okay. So just the one at the top? Yeah, the very top one. Okay. 
60 seconds. 60 seconds. Oh we'll bring the clock up. Goodness. As soon as the clock's ready, I will count you down. Good to go. All right, here we go. You ready, Brandon? Let's do it. Three, two, one, and go. That's hard. All right. You still got, you got 30 seconds still, man. Time? You do. You can now okay. if you want to just flesh it out a little bit. Orchestration is so. totally wrong. I'm just trying to get the rhythm. Exactly. I All right, so let's Something give like it to that. us. Give us the whole, maybe play. Uh, one, more, I, one final one? Yeah, I, I played time into it if you want to do that. That's up to you, though. Okay, let's try it. I don't know. I, 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 it's pretty good. It's it's certainly different than my take on it. Okay. So that was, but it has the same spirit. I, I was saying like, I think if you had to play that lick or that idea, that would get you through it. Yeah, it's just weird. Like the first, I guess the first phrase of that phrase mm. is like a weird. I don't know if it's a triplety thing, but it's kind of got this <laughs> lilt to it. He starts it in a funny place, or I say they. I don't know who played it. Yeah. I would say. They, that, yeah, it, that's probably the hardest thing is when you're trying to get into the drummer's head, like what were they thinking, yeah. and then you're, if it's not in like a like a natural choice for you, yeah. you're just struggling with it. Well, even just trying to, I I don't even know if he played like or whoever played this played two kicks up front, kind of <laughs> felt like that. <laughs> I know, but I would never play anything like that, yeah. so it kind of feels weird to orchestrate it. But yeah. Yeah. People in the chat think you did quite well. I would say, uh, yeah, I think that's a, a solid, I don't know, six or seven, two, but who knows? We'll 60 see seconds, that's, that's what you that's get. That's pretty good. <laughs> it's pretty good. I'll take it. All right, so you, 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 you got to go, right? I know. All right, so I'm going to bring gonna, in. I'm going to be tuning in to see. Oh, good. Who, uh, Excellent. Who Can you please bring in the next victim? We're going to go with <laughs> Dave next. Hopefully he's still alive. Big Dave on his way. Recommend <laughs> out. <laughs> Nice. Oh, that's why it took so long. They took him into space. Yeah, we uh, we were floating. <laughs> oh boy! And I trust I trust Tyson. He makes sure you guys stay out there. So yeah, I'll keep an eye for you in the chat. Yeah, we right were on. in a concrete bunker. The concrete bunker. That's a great name for a band. We should go with concrete bunker. Ladies and gentlemen, we are concrete bunker. Thank you. Good night. So what do you guys think? Is this insane? Does anybody know who the drummer might be? Anybody have any guesses who the drummer might be? I have a guess. I'm going to keep it to myself for now. But does anybody know, or who thinks they know, who might have played that lick that we're listening to and trying to learn? So I'm curious to see if anybody has any ideas who it might be. Okay. Linkmaster in the Drumeo chat says Portnoy. Okay. All right. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I, I don't think it's Portnoy. Hard to say. Hard all right. To say. All right. The boss is here, everybody. Welcome, Dave. Welcome. Uh, Welcome. I don't know where Brandon, get Brandon through the cable down there on the ground for you. <sighs> okay, let me just untangle these. And Brandon, as I was walking in, said, good luck. And he had that like weird smirk on his face. And I'm oh, like, yeah. is it hard? And he's like, yeah. Yeah, so, I would say it is. <laughs> how did you do, Kyle? Uh, I gave myself a solid six. Hey, six? I'm glad you came prepared with your in-ears already, Dave. This is great. Yeah, well, you know, how when they go in your pocket. <laughs> That's next, true. 
Next thing you know, like seriously, it couldn't be more tangled here. You know what the thing is though? The stall for me? I don't know what's good or bad because with in-ears with cables, you have that problem. With AirPods, you just lose the dust. You just lose, I know, right? I okay. Know. So, so before you let me, me, I'm gonna count you down when you're ready. We'll get the old uh, drummy old clock up on the old screeny screeny there. Okay, so. and volume. You should have it. It seems uh, it, it's not gonna matter. It's basically. I heard the word porn knife thrown around. Is this a porn knife? I don't think so. No. I have a, I have, a, I have a guess of who I think it was. I don't think it's porn knife. Okay. I don't think so. So all right. 60 seconds from when I press play. So here's the thing. You get 60 seconds, you can listen to it. What I did, just to be fair, I listened to it. I kind of talked through it a little bit. I kind of came up with some ideas. I wrote a couple of quick notes. And then I kind of worked through it for about a minute after that. So use the 60 seconds to listen to it and, and pause and to it. Have, you want paper? Um, yeah. The man paper. that doesn't want paper? The man that doesn't want paper. Maybe oh, he does. Oh, I'm looking at your notes. Okay. It was, it's not really notes. <laughs> uh, they're literally little notes. Little okay, let's do trying. it. Let's just do it. Okay, here we go with the clocks. Get the clock up on the screen. That's clock, C-L-O-C-K. Here we go. Three, two, one, and go. Um, it's, uh... So the first thing I'm trying to do is sing it. Does booms does boom boom I think that's the rhythm. And you also hear the hi hat in there. So Time and somebody think it again. Tunes a buzz up. So, boom. Do da 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 Okay, give us, give us, is that your final one? Sure, that'll be my final one. <laughs> I, I know I'm wrong. I, there's two ghosts on the snare that I missed, but the, the, the essence I think I got. Boom, brapa, boom, brapa, brapa, boom, boom. Pretty fascinating watching your process. Yours is different than Brandon's, different than mine. And it's funny because I think we're all getting to about the same point differently, though. We're, I think we're all making different assumptions yeah. and different mistakes based on what is comfortable. Right. I think it's really neat. So you, you, I try to listen to when the fill starts, when it ends. I try to listen to the rhythmic kind of balance yeah. in there. Boom, ba boom, ba 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 You did the same thing I did. I sang it. He sang it. Yeah. And then I realized there was hurt as in there. The left hand, I knew it was, I knew it was there, but I ran out of time. I knew it was there. If I had like another five minutes, <laughs> but five you minutes, don't. But I don't. But you don't. But that, that means good. it's time. Can you bring in Big Daddy, please? Big Daddy's on his way, rockin' man out. <laughs> he should really have his own, like, CD talk show. Yeah. He's yeah. so good at it. Tyson, he should, totally should. Tyson should. You know, uh, I, I, put in, I put in my ism at the end. I always end my fills with, like, a, a kick to get into the yeah, like, sure. setup. And, mm -hmm. and I know that wasn't in there, but... I uh, agree. Yeah, that was... Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. I kept... Um, starting... I think I started strong, and then I would kind of get lost in the, in, the, in the riff in the middle. And then I was like, you know, kind of yeah. doing what made sense. <laughs> and I'm trying to think who played that slow. And I can sit here. I now. think at the end too, I, I, we'll, we'll, we'll get our guesses as to who we think it is. We're yeah. going to find out who it was. I have a, a suspicion I know who it is, but I'm not sure. It's not Pornoy. 
I don't think so. Try to Based on drum sounds alone, I don't think it's Portnoy. No, exactly. Jared, how you doing, buddy? Good. How are you guys? We're good. Uh, good. This has been a very eye-opening challenge so far. How did How did Dave do? Dave did. I would say I gave myself a six. Brandon felt he was about a six. Dave might be a seven. Wow. Ooh. He might be. I needed another two minutes. Yeah. Um, Is there I, no notes here? Right? I don't no, know. you don't Lou, need that. Lou here says that Dave did a great job. Oh, right? you so, guys are very kind. There I you appreciate go. that. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, so here's some guesses just for the, for the, we're all, Jared, you ready, Jared? Yeah. Okay, I was just going to say, there's some guesses as to who that film might be. Um, Chad Wackerman or Todd Zuckerman, both great choices. It's not Zuckerman. I don't think so. No, it's not Someone Zuckerman. in the chat did guess the same guess I have, so I'm not going to say who it is. So. Okay. Um, how, how, all right. long, how long is the film? It's uh, two bars. Yes, yeah, two bars, yeah. All right, are we ready with the clock? Crew, excellent. So I get sorry, sorry. I get one minute. I get one minute to listen, and, and then I get one minute to try. I would say that's about right. Basically, what that's we're doing what is we're going to time the period of time that you have to listen to the to the, to the lick. Yeah. You can talk through it, play through it, which we've all done a little bit of, and then after that, go ahead and take some process time, okay. and then offer up your final uh, uh, verdict of that lick. Okay. All right. Here we go. I'm going to count you down. Three, two, one, go. seconds. Uh, it's like a, it's like a herda. It's, a, it's based off of a herder in the second part. Yeah. But, the, but the accent on the toms is at a weird spot. It's yes. not where you're used to doing it. Yeah, yeah. Give us your final answer. Okay. You can play a beat into it if you want. Yeah, okay. not right. Okay, okay. I think I, I'm not going into it the right way. Actually, I think you're close. He, I, I should have kept going. And I think he's probably got... For, I've seen all four. I've had the... What, <laughs> I had to sit through my own. But um, I think you have the most closest front half. Yeah, I was going to say. I was doing the Back first half. Back half is garbage. I was doing the first the front half. a little bit different. <laughs> Back half is garbage. I was going to say it. I was, was going to insinuate it. Shoot me hurt. So there's a space so, after the after the first one on the uh, hat. All right, all right. There's a space, and then you also play sixteenths all the way down <laughs> at the very end. So now <laughs> we're gonna get the YouTube audience to vote on who did the best job of this. We all probably did terrible. Probably, but let's see what they say. You you could be surprised often by the public to see what they actually think. Yeah, okay. So oh, while know. that's happening, <laughs> I have a little bit of news I want to quickly talk about. I didn't bother writing it too heavily into the script because it was one of those things. But so this week we found out that. Gretsch Drums yes. has now switched from having 
production and distribution rights, it's not ownership, of Gretsch Drums from Drum Workshop has now switched over to Geva, mm -hmm. which is a German company um, that um, sells and distributes products all over Europe. So very interesting change for Gretsch, uh, just to clarify, because you're like, what do you mean? I heard that Geva now owns Gretsch. Yeah. Well, no. Fred Gretsch himself, of the Gretsch family, still owns Gretsch. He just licenses out who has the honor and privilege of producing those drums and distributing them worldwide. So that's a big move. It goes from North American distribution, primarily centered there, to European, which is really yeah. neat. Yeah. Any thoughts, Jared? I know you were thinking about it a little bit. Yeah, I, I would think just uh, that the reason that Roland, because just so everyone knows, Roland is, owns DW right. now. Mm -hmm. And when they purchased that, they said, okay, you have this Gretsch thing that you're doing on the side, and we're not really sure that we want to do that long term, and we, or we don't really need to do that, and there's not an ownership in the brand. So then they looked for a suitable buyer and gave a, came to the table and bought it. Yeah. I think, that, I think it benefits Geva, and that allows them to have these two acoustic and electric SKUs. Yeah. And it, it kind of de-risks or kind of like simplifies the, the DW operation that Roland bought. I think it's good for everyone. I think so too. Yeah. I, I, I'm curious to see what will actually change on the consumer level. Mm. Because I remember when Gretsch or, uh, moved to DW for that period of time, I didn't see much difference or much change. Um, and I guess there shouldn't be, but like what's the, to the consumer, does it matter? Really? I don't, I don't think it does pr uh, primarily. I imagine there'd be zero interruption, really. Yeah. I think, though, what's interesting to me is, does the European distribution change? Is there a big upswing in, in Gretsch products in, US, in, in Europe, which is a huge market? Mm -hmm. you know? And I, the other thing I wonder, too, is with Geva having its own line of electronic drums, is there a symbiotic relationship there now? That we don't see. You think maybe the new shells are, are shells from, drums. Yeah, right. maybe. Right. Hmm. Uh, and kind of following suit with Roland and Drum Workshop, you then have Geva and Gretsch. And they're both G's. <laughs> <laughs> That's the real reason. That That's that the real thing? reason. Let's get to the brass facts. Yeah. I don't know. But it's, it is interesting that Geva is a electronic drum manufacturer and developer. And then you have DW and Roland. And they're right. apparently working together, like selling right. resources and... It's interesting. Yeah. So they're clearly, they, they see a future forward where everyone can have a piece of the pie. And I'm also curious, was, was Roland wanting to, to liquidate and to sell, or was Gabe wanting to buy? Like That's a great that, question. You know, who, the other thought, too, is, to? and I don't know, is it may have just been up for renewal. Uh, it's, it's probably a period of time in those contracts. Yeah, I guess so. so it, it is it, just distribution, right? So they yeah. don't own the name. No. And mm -hmm. so it's, it's a little bit like you're building the foundation um, on rented land, because if all of a sudden after the term ends, Fred Gretsch decides he doesn't want it, that person to distribute it anymore, that company just takes it. Yeah. yeah. So it's, there's a, a more risks involved in that. Yeah, because Gava could spend hundreds of thousands, if not millions of dollars on, on marketing <laughs> to get the name, the brand, like pop, and, and then they... I think they'll, they did it because Gretsch is everywhere. Every drummer knows Gretsch, and so it gets their Gava drums a better chance of getting in those shots. I think that's probably yeah. part of it. Yeah. Uh, it makes sense to me, but oh, it's really yeah. interesting. Of course, of course. It's got to be a huge part of it. It's, yeah. it's, it's something, you know, I, I love the fact that it came out of left field. Yeah. Because a lot of times there's always like little, you know, whispers in the back rooms of what's going on. That one, I don't think anybody talked about. Yeah, so. I was going to say, was that in your drum predictions of no, last week? No, that's the best that's thing is we're so already good. a week after that and we've totally missed that. So. Yeah, yeah. But who could have predicted that? No. There's a couple of good ones. Um, my favorite from last week was predicting that Max Weinberg will be the next drummer for Slipknot. That one I'm sure. <laughs> that one's coming. Can you imagine? That one's coming. Just a little four-piece kit that's traditional grip. <laughs> yeah, totally. This I would love to see that, by the way. <laughs> so when are we going to hear the original track? Or okay, yeah, so yeah, yeah, I think it's time out. to reveal who yeah, it is. Yeah, yeah. So before we do that, let's find out who you guys think it might be. Uh, I just discovered that my guess is totally wrong. I am... Totally getting my lunch handed to me today, as they say. Um, Dave is winning. Can I guess? Am I winning? I'm last. I went first, Whoa. so fair enough. Yes. Oh, this is on who did it the best. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I thought it might be Zach Grooves. But. I don't think it's Zach Grooves. I Zach was Grooves just informed than... that that clip is much older than the time it, when Zach was here. Is it Daphne Prieto? No, that's well, not that's Daphne. That's a good guess. Listen to that Tom, guys. I that's, know, but still, it's isolated and mixed. 
It's got it's got to be. Dude. And you're right. The snare drum. I should not have guessed, Zach. You are right. Yeah. Oh man. Is it a Larnell? A lot older. Oh. Hey. Oh. Could be Larnell. It could qualify could be, for that. It, yeah. It could qualify as Larnell. I, but I don't think he would do that linear thing with the hand over to the hi hat. That's is kind of doing that because at the opening of the lick, he's got to get that. It's not Sunny Emery, is it? Oh, it could be Sunny. Oh my gosh! I mean, those are the old school. Man, it's so hard. That's a very tough one. We do here's uh, or can you hear? Guess the drummer from his drumming, but this is guess a drummer from one two bar lick. I feel like as soon as we hear it, we're gonna be. We should have got that. Aaron Spears, no. Oh. Oh, you know what? No, he did have. He did have his kit. That's tuned. true, and I don't know where Aaron pulled it from. It could so. be. It could be Spears. Well, Aaron's not going too deep. All right, he's going surface level. He's probably doing Aaron something. Aaron Spears is a good guess. I would say for sure. It could be Aaron Spears. Yeah. And uh, all right, so let's reveal. Yeah. Let's reveal it. Who is it? Who actually played that lick? Here we go. Nine on a CD. <laughs> it came out as a CD. Wow. A plus on the choice. I'm not surprised. So I would have never have guessed that in a million years. That's in a, a million years. From a lesson series we did with Mattel Cohen. For those yeah. that don't know her, she's a she one of the early artists that used to publish covers on YouTube. Mm. So, yeah, it's in the Quibus era, and uh, we worked with her on a package called Maximum, Maximum Mattel. Mattel. Yeah. And we only sold it for maybe a year, yeah. year and a half, and then yeah. it was kind of. We moved on to other things. And we don't even have it in back burner, I think, unless you bought it. That's the only way you'd still have access yeah. to it. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, good job, Aaron. And thanks for not, you know, giving us something with double bass and septuplets. Because I had a feeling yeah. that's where he was going to go. Oh, there he uh, <laughs> He's going to yeah. pick something from Camille Bajot or something like that's that. Really good, yeah, that was really good. And I'm... Uh, I'm I'm very humbled right now. I've been destroyed on the internet <laughs> yet again. <laughs> the irony, though, is Kyle. You, Kyle yeah. gigs out more than all of us combined. It doesn't matter. And, I guess that's uh, why I don't care. Yeah, I guess that's <laughs> why I don't yeah. care. He's, 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 he doesn't play one hurt out on his gig. <laughs> no, he so, doesn't need to. No, no, and no. he gets all the gigs. I mean, sometimes <laughs> I do. Really weird, eh? Yeah, Jared's got great hands, no gigs. I got great feet, no gigs. <laughs> Kyle doesn't play hurt us, gets all the gigs. That's right. Oh, I love uh, it. That's good. That was fun. That Thanks was a challenge. Thanks for taking part, guys. That oh, was yeah. great. Thanks for having us. Brandon, wherever you are, whatever you're doing that's more important than this, thank you. Uh, Brandon came in second, so I don't feel... Or third, no, third, sorry, yeah. third, so I don't feel so bad. Okay, okay. <laughs> I like uh, this. Let's do this again. Uh, we will yeah. definitely do this again. Let's do this again, yeah. We'll do a couple different versions of it, maybe. And, and did you honestly, like, not hear it at all? I did not. Good for you, man. Well, clearly, look at the vote. I mean, if I had a competitive advantage, I did not use it. <laughs> you did not yeah. use it. If I sandbagged that, I, I went too far. Next time, I think we should do one minute, you get it as far as you can, and then you could do like three or four of them. Yeah. Yeah, I like that. I like that. Yeah. Because, you, you know, you can shine on one, you can fail <laughs> on the others. Plus, it's, it's cool going through that exercise. Like, I love the Here's a Song for the first time mm. episodes we do here. Because it puts the drummer through the ringer, and it makes you, it allows you to see what they think and how they actually kind of jot it down, right? And um, how did Brandon do it? Like, was he writing shit down? Or no, was he, he did it like you'd expect Brandon <laughs> to do it. Just he played cursing. it slower. Just cursing. And sort of kind of methodically went through the sections. Uh, if you've ever seen Brandon work on anything, um, every now and then on the drone department, he will do something like that. When he showed how he plays, it's a tool song. He broke it down. Yeah. You, you kind of see his process. Yeah. It's it's fantastic. His process is super clean, but it would take longer than a minute. Yeah. Right. So he's trying to like yeah. grab what you can. And I know for me, I fell down after about halfway through the fill. It was like at that point, I'm like, hey, I got that, and then I'm like, Ugh. right. It starts to become a little cloudy. Right. <clears throat> right. So. Well, Brandon, the idea too was if you had to play that lick at a gig, I think we all would have at least gotten the vibe of that idea. We yeah, have maybe played it perfectly. Yeah. But. According to the polls, Brandon's method is only twenty three percent. That's right. Effective. It's not. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it's not it, that is fully accurate though. That's scientific data. Right, super though. scientific. Scientific data. Exactly. Yeah, the numbers don't lie. <laughs> I thought I asked my family to vote. I guess my family did. They didn't vote for me. Right. Well, That's yeah. fair. I appreciate it. They did vote. It's not for I you. I like that my family's honest <laughs> That's enough. So good. They're like, you know what? You didn't deserve it today. <laughs> Try yes. again, buddy. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Uh, you know what? I think it's time. Speaking of grooves and all kinds of cool stuff, I want to talk about Groove of the Week. So let's do Groove of the Week. <laughs> Paul Albright. 
Oh, I think I know this. Goes by underscore Albright. He's super awesome. Check out this clip of him. Yeah. Is he playing? I was thinking like it's That's a, cool. it's like, you know, a corporate gig oh, yeah. doing sound check and they're playing, well, this is what we really want to play tonight. Yeah. I love it. I loved his uses of uh, the sounds that's in the stacks. Yeah. It's so dirty though. Yeah. Like the dynamics, it's just like, and yeah. he's like totally not like giving it away. He's just like. Yeah. Was that uh, like an Instagram find or a TikTok yeah, yeah. find? Instagram find. Aaron cool. Edgar found that one. That's uh, Paul Albright underscore Albright. Check him out. Paul Albright, yeah. Albright underscore Albright? Yeah, underscore Paul Albright. Hold on. <laughs> you need this is so confusing. Paul Albright yeah. underscore Paul Albright? Uh, those were two different statements. So, yes. <laughs> His name, his name is actually Paul Albrecht. <laughs> We're trying to decipher a gr an advanced fill within 60 seconds. I don't seconds. know what you're saying. We can't even decipher. We should put it, we'll put it in the description. A username. Or that's a awesome. It's, yeah. <laughs> we'll have it flash on screen. Oh, that's great. Yeah, give him some love. He's a great uh, drummer. Yeah, well, English <laughs> is my first and only language, so. Yeah, that you think I would have a better shot at that, right? That explains no, it. Let's do something I do know something about. Let's talk about gear of the week, everybody. Oh, okay. Is that a fishing tackle box you it's got there? It's a new shaker from Meinl. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not. This is really cool. What is it? I'm okay, super stoked. Tell us what it is. Uh, Jared, you want to check that out for me? I'd love to check this out. So this is the drum tech toolkit from Meinl. Wow, look at this. But it is kind of like a, like a, like a tackle box. Oh, no way. It actually oh, it is. It kind of opens up. That's yeah. cool. Oh, this is what I need, man. Uh, there's not a drummer on the planet that doesn't need this. wing nuts for cymbals. Yeah. Do they actually work? They work even better if there's not one on there already, but... Doesn't work. <laughs> doesn't <laughs> work. Doesn't work. <laughs> uh, drum key, you got some washers. What, uh, this is for your snare yeah. wires. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, for your hi-hat. Hi-hat felts. Uh, some sleeves for your cymbals, okay, just in case you're yeah. missing those. Um, and some smaller. Oh, these are for your, like, your bass drum pedal. Yeah. Stuff. If your exactly. if yep. your bass drum pedal misses one of these, which actually happened to me one time, oh. and I had no oh really not, I didn't wasn't able to put it in there, so I think I had to tape it or something like that. What are these for? Those are rivets. Ah, for your cymbal. Yeah, these are cymbal rivets. Paul. Yeah, cool. This is a neat idea. Smart. Now there's huh. a few other ones like this on the market. This is the only one that's in like a little plastic container. Right. And I feel like they chose really wise <laughs> a. Like parts and B number of parts. Like yeah. those are the things you're gonna need. I also love the sleeves they chose will work kind of on any stand. Like they're not specific to like having a bottom washer or anything like yeah. that. So they really will work in a pinch, which is great. You even got some drum gum or some muffling. Yeah. I like it. Yeah. Yeah, it's super cool. And uh, the best thing I thought was actually the price. <clears throat> I was quite surprised. It's less oh, than I expected. It to be. Hold on, you say nineteen ninety nine? Dave? I was gonna say twenty. I'll say twenty nine ninety nine. Okay, so I shot a little high. I thought it might be like forty, fifty bucks. Uh, it streets for thirty three bucks U.S. Oh, not bad. And you spend way more than that trying to package that together. Yeah. Well, it's, what's yeah. nice is you could just reload it with stuff. Yeah. Like you have the, the box is like it's it's perfect because yeah. it includes has an, has all the areas for all the little things that you yeah. need. Yeah, it's really cool. It's available at all the major drum shops. Uh, that's that's the kind of thing that we should all just have. Yeah. Right. Because it's when you need it, you're like, oh man, that's when I actually should have bought it. So what's it called? It's called the Drum Tech Toolkit by Drum Meinl. Tech Toolkit. Nice. Yeah. They are always coming up with cool stuff. Yeah. Great cymbals, really neat. They have the new stick and brush division doing really cool stuff there. Their percussion stuff is really innovative. Yeah. Uh, they really seem to have like their finger on the pulse of what the next thing should be. It's really good. They're always pushing. Yeah. yeah. They're always trying to do something new and... And uh, keep what keep what's working well, and replace the stuff that's not working well with new and better things. And I think they like <coughs> they run at least one of their factories, like completely off solar energy. Yeah, that's They're cool. They're really really committed to green energy. Yeah, really sustainability. Well, let's give this away, hey? Then we're gonna give it away. Exactly. Yeah. We're gonna give this away to someone in the members area. Jared, give me a number between one and seven. Six. 
six, a fine choice, fine choice. E. Dot Ferguson, you have just won that incredible drum tech toolkit from Minel. Email me at krad at drumeo.com and we will get that very toolkit sent to you. That exact one. Congratulations. Congratulations, E. Dot Ferguson. Yeah. Cool. The dot is special. <laughs> uh, and while we're giving things away, let's give away a one year membership to oh, Drumeo. I thought wow. you were going to give away Dave. Huh? Uh, you can't give me away. I've already been given away. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know what that means. Like, okay, let's go. Let's, yeah, 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 let's keep it moving. Let's keep, keep it moving. <laughs> All right, so we're going to give away a one year membership to someone on YouTube. Uh, this will get you access to Drumeo, but that's not all. You'll also have access to our piano program, our guitario program, our singio program. But you say, hey, Kyle, I don't care about those things. I want to play the drums. No problem. We got over 5,000 songs with full transcriptions. We got workouts with some of your, of your favorite drummers. You got lots of Dave. You got lots of Jared. You got tons of Brandon mm -hmm. and a little bit of me and tons of your favorite other drummers. I, too many to name. I'd be here for days. Days. Days? Days. So Days. we're going to give that away to someone out there on YouTube. I'm going to give it to you just because he's playing along with me right now. Um, Web Graffer. Web Graffer. <laughs> you have won a one-year <laughs> membership to Drumeo. Email me at krad at drumeo.com because you said, but wait, there's more. But wait, there's Absolutely more. Absolutely earned that. Yeah. Uh, however, if you're out there and you're like, hey, I didn't win, but I'd like to check out Drumeo too. No problem. We have a seven-day free trial. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All you got to do is just trundle on over on the internet there to drumeo.com and get yourself set up. And you can see all the cool stuff we have. All of it. Hey, Kyle. Hmm. Hey, Jared. Um, this multi-pad doesn't seem to be working. <laughs> do you have lessons in Drumeo on how to use this multi-pad? <laughs> well, yeah. <laughs> just hand it like an SPDS. <laughs> <laughs> is this when I tell them that's my personal iPad? <laughs> That's so good. Just, just crying as Jared's destroying my tablet. <laughs> yeah. No, no, no. It's funny, actually, because I, I should probably get a new one soon, because this one's been great, but I have, like, 3,000 charts in there. Right. And if it ever stops, I'm in a bit of trouble. You so could, there's the argument about, up on the cloud? about paper versus... It is backed up on the cloud. <laughs> it's, it's just, like, if okay. you get to a gig. Right? Yeah, yeah, oh, fair so enough. That whole deal there. Oh, that's so good. <laughs> oh, man, I learned an awful lot today. I learned that I am not good at learning something in a minute. Yeah. I learned that Dave was very good at it, according to the internet. According to the internet. I thought Jared had a really great metho metho methodology. Methodology, that's right. Mm. I thought Brandon did great and did not get his due. Well, that's, he did the worst. But that's what happens here. when yeah. you don't stay. Yeah. Right? No. He doesn't have a voice at the table. To defend and himself. He didn't. He also <laughs> was kind enough not to name drop. I feel like he had a pretty important three o'clock. So, <laughs> uh, let's he's check probably Google. talking to check I don't the know. old Google Calendar. Yeah, Vinny Colaiuta. It's no one important. Know, something like that. Well, it's thanks. Uh, thanks for setting this up, there, yeah, buddy. That was great. Thanks, thanks everyone for watching. Uh, I've got something I want to share here at the end. This is going to be super cool. Uh, I want to celebrate a brand new Drumeo student. This student's name is Loch Ness. Loch Ness has been playing for just over two weeks. Ooh, that's right. Two weeks. Awesome. When they submitted this video, they got a drum kit for Christmas and it just started playing. They filmed this video at the two week point. This is them jamming with somebody, and we had to share this because Loch Ness, you are well on your way to great success on the drum. Has he played before, or is this his first she time? She has not. She. Yeah. Okay. This is and is she going time. through 30 Day Drummer? Do you know? I don't even know. Wow. She just All let right. us know, hey, I've been doing this for. for and she just. Po and, and not only that, posted the video. Like, that's pretty awesome. Yeah, good for I don't her. think I would be so bold to do such a thing, but you're so good at it, I, I can see why. So we're going to be, actually, we're off next week because we're going to be at NAMM. we got some cool stuff planned for the week after. Mm -hmm. uh, those of you in the members area, we're going to come right back and answer your questions. Maybe one of these guys will stick around. We'll see. Uh, otherwise, we'll see you guys again soon, but check out La Loch Ness on the way out. We'll see you guys next time. Take care. <laughs>